Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do gradients on your um, models in Blender 2.8. So real quick before the video starts, I just want you guys to check out my Patreon. Um, on my Patreon, I upload monthly asset packs, such as the ones you see on your screen right now. Um, you can unlock all of these assets for as little as $3 a month, and then also it helps support me and everything that I do. So if you're interested in that and you need some quick and easy models that are ready for your Roblox games, make sure to check that out. It's patreon.com slash Now let's get into the video. The first thing you're going to need to do is open up Blender, and you need to clear your scene. So press A and X to clear it, and then you need to add your tree and uh, just model it real quick. Alright, now we're at the part of the tutorial where we make the texture. So all you need to do is open up Photoshop or a little drawing application, anything where you can add a gradient. Um, it doesn't have to, you know, be anything special. I use Autodesk Sketchbook um, and all you do is make the canvas size a square. So I did 1080 by 1080 and you add a gradient um, and then you change the color to the two separate colors. So. For one color we need the color for the leaves and then the other color we need the color for the uh, trunk. So we're going to make the leaves right now. Uh, I just do a dark green and then a light green at the other side of the gradient, just like that. Um, and then I hit check and then I rotate it uh, clockwise just to you know have it oriented properly. And then the next, uh, I hide this layer and then I do another gradient. Um, and this is going to be the trunk. So just go ahead and add your trunk colors. I do a dark kind of purpley color and then a bronze like brown tan color at the top like that. Um, so that's my trunk. I'm going to drag this down a little bit just like that. Um, and then hit check and then we have two colors. All we need to do is kind of drag this color, the one color over a little bit. So we have two and it fits on the palette just like so. Once you're happy with that, go ahead and save your image. So save as, and then just make sure to save it as a PNG or you know whatever uh, file format you need it to be. And we need to add the material now. So what we need to do is go to uh, select an object, and then we're gonna hit new on material. You go to base color actually, and then you add image texture, and then you open up the new texture that you just saved. So just uh, open it up and then um, if we hit Z and go to uh, look dev or whatever, it shows our 
texture right here. So we just need to add that same texture to each of these parts, just like that. Um, and then we go to UV editing, and here's where we do the uh, mapping of the gradient. So what we need to do is go to view, and then perspective or orthographic, or hit numpad five on your keyboard. And then uh, right here where it has this little 3D thing, hit Z, and now we have a flat side view of our uh, model. Um, now just make sure to hit Z and then look dev again in order to see your colors. And what we're gonna do is um, tab into edit mode, hit A to select everything, and then U to unwrap, and we're gonna project from view. And as you guys can see, it projects our trunk onto this image. So what we need to do over here in the image editor, um, after you go to UV editing, is just hit G to grab and drag it over here. Then we're gonna hit S and then Y to scale it on the Y axis. Um, and if you guys look over here, you see that our gradient is applied to the model. Um, real quick, I want this part to be um, its own gradient, so I'm just going to rotate it um, and then I'm going to scale this one on the y-axis as well. Um, so now we have a nice gradient on the trunk and we're going to repeat that step on the leaves. So just hit U, project from view, and over here we're going to grab it, we're going to scale it in on the X so it doesn't touch the other side, and then we're going to scale it up on the Y. Um, and if we look, our gradient is on the leaves. Uh, one last time for these leaves over here, U, project from view, bring it over here, and then scale it up on the Y. Um, once you're happy with that, I think it looks really nice. Um, you can just hit Control J to join everything, and then you're ready to export it into Roblox. So that, guys, is how you put a gradient on a 3D model. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and make sure to check out my Patreon, where I'll upload assets like this and other things. Real quick, I want to do a shout out to my new video editor. Make sure to check out all his social media. It's in the description. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.